And now, the Grumpy Gardener. One of my favorite times of the year is when I hold my annual crepe murder contest, in which I ask readers and fans to sneak up on their neighbors and take pictures of the worst examples of beautiful crepe myrtles that have been chopped down into ugly stumps. And people send me these pathetic messages and they go, oh, I'm so mad at myself, I'm so stupid. I didn't take your advice, I've already gone out and chopped my crepe murder. Ah! I did it again. Don't say murder, don't say murder, don't say murder. Crepe myrtle, I know what a crepe myrtle is. Take two. I didn't read your column, I didn't take your advice, I've already cut my tree? Is it gonna die? Can it ever be fixed again? And the answer is yes. Write this down, because I don't want to have to talk about this again. When people chop their crepe myrtles, they cut them in one of two ways. One, they take a chainsaw out and they make a nice clean cut through the trunk, leaving a level top. Or the second way is they cut it back, all the branches to the same point on the trunk so you get this real ugly fisted knob on the end. What the heck is wrong with you people? If you're one of those that's got the big ugly knobs on the end of the trunks, here's what you do. You cut off those knobs so that your crepe myrtle looks exactly like the one that they took the chainsaw to. So now you've got these level stumps. Very shortly, about a dozen shoots are gonna go straight up from the end of each one of those cut stumps. Wait till they get about a foot or two tall, and then you select two of those shoots that are growing up and out. You leave those, you save them, and you cut off all the others. Now, for the next three years, you basically do the same thing. If any of those shoots that you save start sending a side branch out towards the center of the plant, you cut it off too. Because what you're trying to do is get a crepe myrtle that is a vase shape with a kind of an open center. If you follow these instructions, in about three, four, five years, those shoots that you saved and let grow will become the new main trunks and your plant will look normal again. Take my advice. Just say no. Don't murder your crepe myrtles.